Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 107 of What's the Pepper series. Today, I have a very special pod, and this is my Texas Chocolate Bonnet. And uh, I've done reviews for this varieties before, but um, this one is special because it, it came from a plant that I cloned, or propagate, so uh, let's go ahead and go outside and take a look at the plant and pick a pod and we'll come back and try it out. Okay, here is my Texas chocolate bonnet. And I also have the red version, which is the crimson bonnet. And um, this plant or two plants were actually branches from this mother plant here. So initially I took cuttings from uh, this plant and I propagated it into that. I think I have a video, so I'll, I'll find it for you guys. But um, many times throughout the season, I grow pepper plant, and I usually grow one or two plants. And then uh, sometimes the plant turn out so nice and so good and that I wish I had grown a few more. So um, to speed things up, I just wait until the plant mature and just cut off a branch and then propagate it. When you do that, you get plants that produce at the same time. Uh, you only have to wait, you know, in, until uh, the plants establish roots and all that stuff. So after that period, it's going to grow really fast, and then you get multiple plants producing at the same time. So uh, if you want to cut down uh, the time of having to grow it from seeds, uh, I recommend trying to do that. So uh, here it is. There is only one fruit that is ready, and uh, the rest are on the way. You see. So I think I might have a few more that already uh, formed somewhere on here. Here it is. But uh, let's go ahead and pick this pepper plant or fruit and then we'll try it. Okay, here is a closer look at the pod. And the original parent for this was a um, chocolate scotch bonnet and it has very nice and smooth skin. Um, I have a, a video somewhere of the, of the exact parent, so if I find it, I'll link you guys in the description. Uh, but this one here uh, was crossed with the, my uh, Star Racha, so uh, it came out a little bit more bumpy and much spicier than the Chocolate Scotch Bonnet. And uh, it, it carry the, uh, the shape over, which is nice. Uh, but it's, it's inconsistent at the moment because um, I think this one is uh, either F4 or F5. I need to check my notes. But um, uh, sometimes it, it doesn't have the bonnet shape. Sometimes it's just long and it has a stinger. So um, I, I kind of do prefer this, this kind of shape because it's a bonnet after all. So let's cut it open and see what it looks like inside and we'll try it. And this is my knife made by Spicy Mike. And uh, I'm, I don't have a cutting board yet, so I, I'm still needing to find one. <laughs> so I'm still cutting my peppers on the, uh, the plate and people don't like the sound of it. So I try not to make that sound. Okay, look at that. Man, that thing looks dangerous. I should have worn gloves. But um, yeah, it has a pretty large placenta. It takes up like half of the pepper on, on, on this side right here. Wow, look at all the oil from this thing, man. Um, when you see oil like this, uh, you, 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 you're probably going to know that uh, it's going to have a lot of heat. So um, I'll cut a small piece here because I haven't had too many super hots this season and you know, it's, <laughs> I'm not used to it yet. Uh, after eating peppers for so many years, I don't know why I still cannot eat the entire half. I've tried it before off camera and man, that almost like, 
destroyed me. So anyway, let's try this out. Okay, here is my Texas chocolate bonnet. Looks pretty dangerous. Has a very interesting smell. A little bit tropical, a slight hint of uh, floral. Very fruity. Yeah, smells, doesn't smell like a pepper. Very, very fruity smell to it. Mm hmm. Has a sweet smell, doesn't have that, you know, that, that, that super hot fume that you get sometimes when you, when you open like a seven pot or like a reaper or something like that. Wow, this, this is very pleasant. Nice smell to it. Yeah, very like tropical fruit light. Um, hopefully I'll have some seeds in here. I didn't see any when I, I think I saw one when I cut it open. Okay. So uh, let me try this small piece that I cut. Even the small piece smells good. Hmm. Didn't have any heat. A little heat. Okay, so a little bit of a background on this variety. I grew the parent that you saw uh, from a plant that I grew outside that didn't have any heat. So um, that plant that didn't have any heat grew into the plant that has crazy amount of heat. Man, that thing was really bad. So I took the clone and I grew it into the, the little pot outside. Hmm, let, me, let me try that again. Get my knife. It has a very interesting flavor. Um, it isn't very sweet, which I really don't like. I kind of prefer the sweetness. Um, there is a slight hint of heat. I bet if I cut a bigger piece, then I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for it. Okay, so I'll do a bigger piece here. It's almost very bland in a way. Very interesting aroma, but tastes nothing like a pepper. There's a bl like a blandness, and then you know a little tingle because of the of the little amount of heat. I think it gets hotter as I get towards the middle. Okay, bigger piece. <laughs> Hmm. That one was actually less heat. Okay. Um, there's a few seeds in here. So let me cut those seeds out and then I'll, I'll eat a bigger piece. Yeah, there's a little kick, but not much at all. So here's a bigger piece. Mm, the placenta is not that good. It has a slight bitterness. Okay. Very interesting because I have no idea what happened. Um, it reverted back to the earlier generations where it's a very slight amount of kick kind of slow it slowly build up right now 
but the pod looks pretty crazy. I mean, look, it looks a little dangerous with large placenta, wrinkly skin. It looked like a scotch bonnet. And you know, scotch bonnet would be at least 300,000 uh, Scoville heat units. So it, it's, it's quite spicy. But uh, you saw me, I don't, I don't eat super hot whole and <laughs> I just ate half of the pepper. So uh, that is so crazy. Maybe there's something in the soil or you know that's missing. But um, the parent has a lot of heat. The uh, I'll link you guys to the review that I did recently for the parent plant, and also I'll link you one to the one that come before that in the soil that has no heat that looks really crazy. So you guys can check it out. But uh. I think I'm gonna keep growing this to 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 kind of like um, what will come of this. I'm I'm a little bit curious because why did it you know it um, why because I took a, a propagated a branch a branch off of the plant so it should you know kind of like produce the exact um, uh, capsaicin stuff in there the heat and all that stuff. So um, anyway. Uh, it, it wasn't a very tasty pepper, a uh, very bland. It smells like a fruit. Doesn't taste like a pepper. Doesn't have much of a flavor. And um, there's a little kick. That's it. So anyway, that is uh, the No Heat Texas Chocolate Bonnet. Uh, I'm gonna take these seeds and grow it again to see what will happen. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.